So this Gabor Curla is a short to mid-length, very curly style. It came out about the same about the same time as the Aesthetica Thin, which is one of my favorite styles, and I dearly love it. So I really wanted Curl Up to work for me just as well. Uh, but I did have to make some modifications to this style. So let's get up close on this color briefly, just in case you've never seen it. This uh, SS Buttered Biscuit by Gabor, which is GL1627 SS, starts with a light caramel brown base color. And then within that, you're going to see a couple different shades of light blonde, more of a wheat blonde and a gold blonde. And then that is on a darker root. Now that root is not a medium brown or a dark brown. It's not super dark, but it is a little bit brassy in tone. So Curl Up features a seven and a half inch front piece here. And because it's curly, that's typically going to come down to about my chin. Now in the back from the crown to the tip of the hair in the back, it's between 13 and 14 inches. There's some layering on the sides as well. It weighs just over four ounces and features a lace front and then is open top, sides, and back. Now the lace front I think is pretty well done. It is a very shallow lace front. Um, and that does not extend back into the ear tab. But it does give a nice appearance uh, of a hairline from the front. Now this wig has a ton of permatease, as you can imagine. And it's very easy to see down into the permatease on this style. And so you're going to have to use some creative parting and just kind of spring the hair up and away from the cap in order to obscure the uh, the parting line so you cannot see the permatees. I would definitely go with a rooted shade on this type of style. The permatease extends all throughout the cap and is very, very heavy. Now when this came to me right out of the box, um, the fiber was thick and it was coarse. Um, it, it, there is a lot of hair here. Now I have modified this. So what I have done is I've thinned considerably around the face. I did not thin in, on the sides or the back, but around the face is where I wanted it to lay uh, and, and lay a little more easily and look a little more natural. So I thinned from the top of the hairline all the way around the face. And that's why you're noticing that it's a little bit of a wispier texture around the face. Now these bangs, <laughs> They were a terrible mess when I first got this out. I thought, oh, what am I going to do with these bangs? It just did not want to lay right in a way that I felt I could live with. So um, I thinned them out considerably along with the sides, and that helped tremendously. By just debulking some of the bang area here, I was able to get it to settle into a nice contour. So I did not use any, any styling product uh, or any styling methods on this other than the thinning. The fiber themselves are very coarse and wiry up on the top especially. I think the curl pattern is lovely. It puts me in the mind of, some of something that you might see coming out of the 80s. Um, just this beautiful curl with lots and lots of volume, high top. I think it's adorable really. The style is really adorable. I just love curly styles. I think, you know, just the messier they are, the better they look. So you don't really need to spend a lot of time in styling a wig like this. But let's try here with glasses. Okay, there's a lot of permatease between the ear and the ear tab. I feel like this is one style that if you are a full-time glasses wearer, that you will have to find an alternative to resting them between the ear and the ear tab. Then because I did do quite a bit of thinning, I feel like you could probably get an ear tuck out of this. You might 
might want to use a clip to hold it back. And I feel like the length is just right to do some ponytails. I think this would be great pulled away from the face because of that lace front. This has been a show and sell review of the Gabor Curl Up in GL1627 SS. All the details for the sale are below. Once the wig has sold, I will continue to run this video. For anybody that cares to see a review on this style, have a great day. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.